Well, coming up on today's show, we've got a special treat for you. It is a trip to the North Coast. And you know what, as a kid, if you visited Port Clinton or Sandusky, went to Cedar Point, and you said to yourself lately, you know what, I haven't been there in a long time. Well, we're going to give you a lot of reasons to come up this way on today's show, and it is a full hour long. We've got great places to visit, stay, and a ton of attractions that you want to see on your Lake Erie vacation. Stay with us. You don't want to miss one minute of today's show. I'm Mike Kilburn, and along with Renee Warner, we're out and about on the North Coast. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. So many times I hear people say, I used to go to Port Clinton as a kid, or I enjoyed Port Clinton. Well, Port Clinton is open, and it's better than ever. We had an opportunity to actually talk to two people that know this very well, Olin Martin, who is the Safety Services Director, and Mayor Hugh Wheeler. And they're going to tell you all about what you're going to find here in Port Clinton. Well, Olin, welcome down to Mount Columbus. Good to have you on the show. Thanks, and Mayor Wheeler, good to have you on the show. It's great to have the city of Port Clinton on. You know, one of the things that you really notice about Port Clinton is it has went through a lot of revitalization projects. And it, i got to tell you, it's looking great here. Talk a little bit about those with us. Well, thank you. And uh, we got a lot going on. You know, we got uh, spent a lot of money this year and last year. Um, we got quite a few grants. Uh, we got a uh, new hotel going up. We got storage unit condos going up. You know, the lighthouse is in place. Downtown is, is just about done. We're going to do Jefferson Street here next year. It's going to be great. They are all about the parks and having fun, and we certainly have them here in Port Clinton, right? Yes, we do. We got um, a vast quantity of, of nice parks. We got Friendship Park here. Um, we got Lakeview Park down. We got Waterworks Park over here. Um, and two of them actually consist of a library that you can get books at either one of them. Um, you know, and then we got the Ability Center playground down at Lakeview Park. It's just a great addition. Well, in turning to you, everybody, of course, is concerned about safety when they come sure. up here. And here we are in Port Clinton. Tell, what, are people, what do people need to know about being safe here? Well, Port Clinton today and, and, and has in the past really been a safe place for people to visit. I think that uh, we, we have an outstanding uh, set of first responders in our fire department and our police department that make up our safety services and folks can come here knowing they're going to enjoy themselves, they're going to enjoy the lake, they're going to be able to enjoy the city of Port Clinton and uh, it's going to be a safe place to be. Of course we're the gateway to Putin bay with the Jet Express and, and a lot of traffic comes in with that and people concerned. What would you say about that? Well I would say that you know, this isn't something new. Uh, the Jets been here, they just celebrated, their, they're celebrating their 30th year and uh, we're used to dealing with those crowds, and we're used to having those folks there, and we'd love to have them here and, and encourage them to visit Port Clinton and enjoy Port Clinton either on their way or when they return. Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, you know, one of the things that's really attractive about Port Clinton, Mayor, is the fact that it's the walleye capital of the world. Talk to us about a little bit of the fishing here. Well, the fishing is great. Um, you know, we start off in the winter time. We usually get a good ice for uh, ice fishing. Um, this year we had a pretty good ice fishing. Now we've moved right into spring here, and the walleye is the catches are great. The the limits are good. The sizes are great. Um, we're getting quite a few people coming up. We got a lot of charter boats in the area in the city that. Uh, are available you know on each side of the bridge it's going to be a good year for fishing and i think we're, we're going to capitalize on it you know we are the walleye capital of the world and uh we're going to live up to that name this year you know one of the things that port Clinton's famous for is a lot of events what's some of the things that are coming up this year well we're really fortunate in port Clinton. you know there's an event every, virtually every weekend it's coming weekend we get the walleye festival that kicks off the season um moving into the summer of course we'll have fourth of july on up through a new festival that's coming uh, to Rock the Light Music Festival. It'll be two days uh, in uh, September. 
and then uh, Halloween, and then that'll take us right in towards the walleye drop that's, you know, nationally renowned walleye drop that ta takes place on New Year's Eve. And uh, this year, the uh, they unveiled the new Wally Walleye. It was pretty cool, and uh, we look forward to seeing year, yeah. look forward to seeing it again uh, towards the end of the year. Tell these folks in Columbus how to get up here and enjoy a little bit of Port Clinton. Well, you know, we're only two hours away from for, from Columbus, and uh, we're always open. Yeah, you know, it's, it's an easy drive. Come on up here and visit. We're always open. We'd like we'd love to have you. Yeah. What's the city's website? Uh, PortClinton.com. Fantastic, Mayor. Wonderful having you on the show. Thanks so much. Thanks, Mike. Olin, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Well, you know, when you come up to Port Clinton for a vacation and you're kind of looking for that great place to eat. you know that out of the way place well you have to try slater's pub it is fantastic you come for the food and stay for the entertainment we talked to amy and learned more about why you're going to find some real quality food here at slater's madison street pub the thing that's great about poor clinton and people miss is they co ride the jet express and then they don't come in and experience the downtown like they should and this is one of the best reasons to come downtown is to come and see you here let's talk a little bit about the food first of all well we try to do from scratch as often as we can um, we do hand cut steaks we have our wings with our signature sauce here the hot garlic parmesan everyone loves it and uh, we're just starting to do dry rubs this summer and this is our Cajun ranch and that's a really good one too it's not too spicy just the right amount of salt and seasoning for those chicken wings they're great this is the overachiever burger as you can see it is mounded up with some delicious onion straws they are superb we love those so we have our perch dinner that's with lake erie perch because you can't be in port clinton and not have perch well, you know one of the other things that's great about slaters is the entertainment and the special nights that you have so let's talk a little bit about that Oh yeah, we do have great entertainment. Our entertainers are top notch. Toledo, Cleveland, uh, we also have a local night. Uh, Thursday is, a, uh, once a month, we have a Thursday night that is singer-songwriter night. And so we have local people who are um, publishers of their own music. They perform it, and we really enjoy that. That also happens with the Art Walk in the summertime, and that's the fourth Thursday of the month. It's quaint, it's fun, the food's fantastic, the entertainment's great. It's one of those come for the food, stay for the entertainment. Entertainment is a it's a never miss here at Slater's Pub. So give us some contact information. Help people find you here in the downtown. Sure, we're on Facebook, Slater's Madison Street Pub, as well as Slater's Madison Street Pub.com for all of our entertainment and food specials. Well, these folks behind me, they're getting ready to get on the Jet Express and enjoy a great weekend over Putin Bay. And if you want that experience, you can get it as well. We talked to Lance to learn more about what's happening here at the Jet Express over this summer. This place is just amazing, the Port Clinton, the North Coast, and of course Jet Express is a big part of that. Talk about what people are going to find here. Well, hopefully they find a lot of fun up here in the Lake Erie shores and islands. Um, we're excited. This is our 30th year anniversary. How does the jet work for people that have never been up, never rode the jet, and don't know a lot about it? So if you're coming up from Columbus, you got a chance to grab the jet either out of Port Clinton or out of Sandusky. If you go out of Sandusky, that's one of my favorite spots because you can island hop your way out. Right. Uh, you go from Sandusky over to Cedar Point, uh, Cedar Point up to Kelly's Island, and Kelly's Island over to Putin Bay. Whereas if you go out of Port Clinton, it's a direct route where you're running right out of Port Clinton to Putin Bay. But we're kind of the uh, the transportation that connects the dots to all the attractions here in the Lake Erie Shores and Islands region. It's also, they say, the fastest way to Putin Bay. What do they mean by that? So the fastest way, uh, you know, we run at speeds around 36 knots, 41 miles per hour. Uh, we're the fastest ferry boat up here on the Great Lakes. We do, to put it in perspective, uh, the old ferry boats that ran out of Port Clinton, on a good day, it took an hour and a half to get from Port Clinton to Putin Bay. We can do that even on a day where it's a little rough in 20, 25 minutes. How many passengers do you take at a time? We have four vessels. Uh, we've got two vessels that are rated at 145 passengers apiece, and then we've got two larger ones that we'll put 375 passengers on there. Uh, but on a busy day, we may haul five, 6,000 people out to the island. Now, what about parking, those kinds of things when people arrive here? Yeah, so parking's very easy uh, at our Port Clinton location. It's located right across the street. Uh, it's, it's hourly or per day. Uh, small charge there on Sandusky it's free parking available that the city has so it's very easy to find a place to park. Well give us some contact information where we can get the schedule and come up and enjoy the Jet Express. Yeah so I guess the easiest way is to go online at jet-express.com or you can telephone 1-800-245-1538 uh, but we also have discount packages online as well so check those out. Well top of the day to you and it will be a top of the day 
hey, if you stop by McCarthy's Irish Pub here in Port Clinton, one of the great establishments here with some quality Irish food and American food as well. We talked to Paul Marcus and learn more. It, this place is like a landmark when people come by into Port Clinton. They see the McCarthy's on the corner, and, and uh, I think it is just you know one of those landmarks that really sets uh, Port Clinton out. Let's talk a little bit about what uh, people are going to find here. Well, we, um, we do serve uh, traditional Irish food. Uh, we also have American food, you know. Um, starting here, we have our uh, Reuben. It's classic Reuben. It's one of our top sellers, for sure. We have our uh, shepherd pie. We also have our full Mickey. It's a little bit more of the uh, American food. Our burgers are excellent. I would say it's the best in town, for sure. Well, you guys just went to a big remodel. Yes. So uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, the, the owners just recently, uh, they put a lot of work into it. Most of this work was done by the owners and staff. It was just time for a new look, facelift. We're definitely happy with how it turned out. We've gotten a lot of good feedback from it too as well. So it looks really nice. Let's talk a little bit about the season because we're coming into that season, vacationers, and of course we're talking to the folks in Columbus. So tell them what they're going to find here at McCarthy's through the season in terms of entertainment, things like that. Well, we are planning to have entertainment every Saturday night, um, all summer long. Um, a variety of bands. There's there's touring acts. We actually have some pretty pretty nice uh, big names coming in. Um, yep. Uh, on occasion, on, on holidays too, they'll be on Sundays. If they just check on our website, you know, to keep up to date or, and Facebook. So, what are they gonna find on tap here? On tap, well, we have uh, we have Irish beer that we, ha we keep all the time. We have Kilkenny, we have Guinness, Harp, and Smittix. We also have uh, McCarthy's Irish Red made by Catawba Island for us, and then we have a revolving, you know, draft set selection as well. So. That sounds great. Well, give us some contact information. People, can, I know they can find you with the big McCarthy sign, but uh, tell us where they can find more on that web. Oh, uh, definitely look us up on Facebook and also uh, McCarthy's Irish Pub PC All right, fantastic. Paul, thanks for being on the show. Well, you know, one of the greatest times on the face of the earth is to come to the Walleye Festival in Port Clinton, and it is a great time for every member of the family. We stop by Main Street, Port Clinton, to learn what they're going to have at the festival this year. Nikki and Nicole told us more. It's another year for the Walleye Festival, which is a great time up here in Port Clinton. So tell our viewers a little bit about no. what the Walleye Festival this is, but what they're going to find. Um, this year, it's our 38th annual Walleye Festival. We're in Waterworks Park in downtown Port Clinton again. It begins um, on Thursday, May 24th, and it runs through Monday, May 28th. We have everything from carnival rides to amazing food. We have over 130 vendors this year which include merchandise and food vendors. We have a kids fishing derby. We have a grand parade. This year we're also doing a vintage baseball game. And so we have a lot of neat activities. We also have entertainment all weekend long and um, everything in the entertainment, um, it's free for everybody to come in and listen to the music. This is a pretty big event, right? You get a lot of people up here for that. It averages about seven to 10,000 people a day, which is amazing. We, um, our city just has activities going on all weekend long. And if people haven't been here, the lay of the land it actually is by the Portage River so it's it's kind of on the water you could see Lake Erie you could see the river it's a great place and it is it's really neat to be on the carnival rides too the Ferris wheel and stuff towards the evening you can see the sun setting and stuff it's just a beautiful beautiful area so well Nicole uh, turning to you one of the things that's neat about this is where the money goes and how it's invested in the community and what it means to the local economy right Right. So two years ago, we had a study done out of BGSU. Um, they estimated over the weekend that they were there that um, 26,000 people walked through the festival, but $3.8 million was invested back into Ottawa County in, in that weekend. So we're, we're really happy with what our five days of a festival can do. All of the money that's raised during Walleye Festival weekend comes back into downtown Port Clinton. Um, we do offer grants. We beautify the town with seasonal plantings. Um, we offer our community Christmas, our downtown trick-or-treat. So all of that is made possible by the Walleye Festival. Or Nicole, where can people get more information about the Walleye Festival if they're coming up this way? Lots of different ways. We have our Facebook page, so um, Main Street Port Clinton Walleye Festival. We have our website, www.walleyefestival.com, or you can call the Main Street office, 419-734-5503. Like the Out and About Columbus Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news about upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's Facebook.com slash Out and About Columbus. 
Well, you know, when you go on vacation up to Port Clinton and the Lake Erie Islands, there's always a place that you want to kind of visit and just rubberneck a look around and see what kind of things they have. Well, we got it for you. It's called Back in Time. Come in and get some fresh pastries on the weekend and just enjoy your look around here. We talked to Patty Wandover and learn more. We have a lot of tours that come up from the Columbus area, and everybody's always looking for kind of that unique shop to find things. So let's let let's bust loose with all the things they're going to find here at Back in Time. Well, this is a very eclectic mix of a lot of local talent. Mm-hmm. We have people that turn handmade wood bowls. They paint. They take pictures. They do um, photographs. We also make our own handmade soaps here, body lotions, health products. I do all the canned goods behind me. The honey's from my farm. So it's just a really good taste of what you see around the lake. You know, one of the things I really like is the antiques and nautical items that you have. You have quite an interesting collection here. We really look high and low to find the most unique things that we could find. So you'll, it's always changing. You never know what you might find. What about the honey? I understand you actually do that, right? Yep, yep, yep. I was born into a beekeeping family. Mm-hmm. My dad has been beekeeping for over probably 50 years now. My youngest sons are doing it, so it's the four generations. And, you know, when you buy local honey, it's so much better for you health-wise. If you have allergies or you suffer from that, get your local light honey for spring allergies. Your fall honey would be dark for your fall allergies. And it's just really good for your immune system. And we harvest it twice a year right here in Port Clinton. What's the most unique item you've had in the shop in terms of the antiques and the nautical items and all that? Have you got something that really stands out? Well, this year we're featuring, we got a fabulous picnic bag. It's an isolated bag. It comes with four place setting and it'll keep everything cool for about 24 hours. They tell us we've got a great wine cooler. Locate this place for them. So when they come up to Port Clinton, they can find you here in downtown. We're at 115 Madison street. We're just, we're in the 100 block, right past the jet express. Um, we're open seven days a week. Sundays we're here 10 to three. And our website is backintimepc.com. The Port Clinton Lighthouse is the only wooden pier light remaining on Lake Erie, and it's recently been restored here in Port Clinton. Richard and John told us more about the history and renovations of the lighthouse here at Waterworks Park. Why do so many people love to come here to see the lighthouse? Because this is the most unique structure on Lake Erie. This is the last remaining wooden pier head light on the great on Lake Erie, having been built in 1896. Tell us a little bit about why it's so interesting. Well, it was built on the west pier of the Portage River in 1896 of local timber. It was an essential aid to navigation for 56 years and operated until 1952 and then the Coast Guard um, put up a steel tower instead. I know you've got a lot of uh, future plans for this area. Tell us a little bit about what you have planned. Well, we're currently in the process of building a uh, boathouse that uh, had been used by the lighthouse keeper, uh, and that's going to sit on the pond here that you see in front of the lighthouse, and then we're going to construct a walkway around the pond, and uh, we're essentially going to have a park we're going to call Lighthouse Park. And that will be a place for people to come and enjoy the lighthouse and learn about the history of the area and uh, the lighthouse itself. Well, I'm going to turn to you now, John. I know that the lighthouse has been recently restored. Tell us what you have done to it and why it's so beautiful now. Um, This lighthouse was originally on piers just like this, and it was moved up the river, and it sat in the mud on the grass for 50, 60 years or more. So it rotted around the base. There was a 12 by 12 beam that was mostly gone. So when we picked it up to move it, we had to build a framework around it. So it was mainly dealing with the rot. So when you come here, you can actually tour the lighthouse, correct? Absolutely. We have docents that take people through, which seems to be popular. We took 2,000 through last year, and uh, it's very popular. Well, how can we find out more about the lighthouse so we can come out here and see it? Uh, Facebook, uh, Port Clinton Lighthouse. And uh, we have a website, portlandlighthouse.org. Our next guest is a part of the Marine Patrol Unit of Portland Police Department and very involved with the Special Olympics. Now, i got to tell you something. There are Special Olympics all over the state, but in this part of the state, the torch run and the boats uh, taking those Special Olympians to the islands is just amazing. We had an opportunity to talk to Ellis Fuviava. They told us more. Now, you're involved with the Marine Patrol Unit on Port Clinton Police Department, and one of the things that you guys do is called a torch run, right? Correct. What, what is that? Well, basically, the torch run is... Um, it's, it's, it's basically for funding and awareness. 
uh, for the event of the Special Olympics. And our position as far as that is we're part of it because of the marine section. And nowhere in the country besides our agency handles a marine section of Special Olympics. And that's due to the islands, uh, Kelly's Island and South Bass Island, Putin Bay. So our job is, what we do is we transport. We transport the athletes, the participants, and what it involves is, it involves your your federal, your uh, your state, your county, and local agencies such as ours. Am I correct? The fire department is also involved in this as well. Since it's a big thing here in Ottawa County and Port Clinton, we've involved the, uh, the the Port Clinton Fire Department as well as other departments around, as well as EMS, and what they do on their support. Uh, They'll line the fire trucks up on our arrival here in Port Clinton, and they'll have their fire cannons out and spraying across the river, and just helping with uh, once they do the runs here in Port Clinton. It, it's actually something to see. And so when's it going to happen this year? Because if folks are up from the Columbus area, Central Ohio, they may want to see this. This is usually held on Father's Day. Uh -huh. And this year it will be held again on Father's Day, which is the 17th of June. Uh, it's an excellent event. As the years go on, we're noticing much more of the public coming out to view this event. Well, I know Ellis, last year Special Olympics raised a little over a half million dollars. So, right. again, it's, it's a very worthwhile thing. How, how do people learn more about Special Olympics? You can get on the website uh, for Special Olympics. And, again, a lot of them are getting on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is a big thing, as we all know, social media. But that's the way to get more information on it. One of the main attractions on the North Coast is Cedar Point. Cedar Point attracts thousands of visitors every year. And this year, Cedar Point opened its gates on May 5th. When we asked what's new this year at the park, we found out that they are debuting a new record-breaking roller coaster named Still Vengeance. The coaster stands 205 feet high and is located in the back of the park. The ride features the basic structure and layout of the Mean Streak, but has been revamped to be higher, faster, and steeper than before. With a new steel track fastened atop its wood frame, the coaster has been dubbed by Cedar Point the world's first hyper-hybrid coaster. There's plenty of other attractions sure to surprise guests at Cedar Point this year. Cedar Point has added even more western feel with upgrades in Frontier Town, new entertainment, and dining options throughout the park, including an expansion of hotel breakers and more. Cedar Point's Frontier Town features completely renovated shops, new games, as well as new and returning restaurants with all new western flavored menus. Chick-fil-A is also back at the park this year in its same former location. There will also be new options for places to stay close to the park in 2018. A new six-story addition to Hotel Breakers opens this season, now featuring a total of 669 rooms and suites where guests get added benefits like early entry to the park. Cedar Point also added 25 new luxury RV sites to their Lighthouse Point, which include full hookups, private patio areas, dining tables with chairs, a grill, fire pit, as well as new restrooms and a new bathhouse. New entertainment will include Lusty Lil's French Review, a family-friendly music, dance, and comedy show at Frontier Town, Peanuts Block Party with Snoopy and Pals in the Main Midway, Vertical Impact, a fast-paced, high-energy acrobatic show at Celebration Plaza, and many others. Tickets are $72 at the front gates, but the best deals and discounts can be found online at cedarpoint.com. We know this is one of the hidden gems that you find around the Port Clinton area. It's called the Resort at Erie Landing, and this is a development that's underway. It's going to be a five-year plan, but already they have several amenities. We had an opportunity to talk to Michael Shank. He told us more. The Resort at Erie Landing uh, is just an amazing place. I I jet ski on the water out here, and it's, it, it is an incredible place when you look at this and see what all is here. So talk a little bit about the amenities that you have. Well, we're very lucky that we sit on 375 acres of uh, very pristine natural property, very pastoral. Uh, the amenities that we were left with include four pools, two indoor, two outdoor. We've got uh, a children's play area, volleyball court, 
uh, indoor racquetball, um, several advantages in terms of party planning and events, 52 cottages, of which we have a few that we'll be able to use this year, 34-room hotel, 101 campsites that are full service. You're not far from Cedar Point. You're not far from a lot of the amenities around the area, right? Oh, well, that's correct. We're within 20 minutes of Cedar Point. We're a short 10, 15-minute drive to two different ferries to go to the islands. And of course, you've got uh, Lakeside very close by and, uh, and the lake via the Portage River. So we've got lots for people to do here, lots for people to enjoy. You have a resort membership. Let's talk a little bit about that. So our resort membership was designed for people who aren't going to RV camp with us and maybe wouldn't be willing or, excuse me, wouldn't want to rent a cottage. Mm -hmm. But they want to have access to something for their family. Sure. So the, the two levels that we're offering this year are one that's more fitness driven, since we have a full service fitness center, racquetball court, and we have studio classes planned, kids events, uh, crafting for kids, outdoor events for kids, a natural woods trail. And then we have a full membership, which would give people the opportunity to come here at night, enjoy some relaxing music, sit out at our new REL Sunset Bar, which looks out over a nine-acre pond across 240 acres of protected wetlands. Well, let's talk a little bit about the future. And I, I think we want to go outside maybe and take a look at some of the property and see some of the things that's going to happen in the future here, right? That's a great idea. I think we'll do that, and we'll, we'll be happy to share that with you. Fantastic. Let's go. Well, you know, Michael, now getting out on the property and actually seeing more of this, it's amazing. So what does the future hold? Well, the future is really bright here. There's a lot of opportunity. Some of the opportunities were things that the prior owners took advantage of, but we're going to rebuild and be able to be ready to do weddings, uh, family reunions, and our, and our big princess that's sitting out there waiting to be uh, taken care of is our plantation motel. All right. And our... How many room hotel is it? We have 34 rooms there and three luxury suites. So, and an upstairs bar that looks right on our marina, the channel entrance. So that'll be the place where people who are on jet skis will have the opportunity to pull up, get off their jet ski, and then join us for a glass of wine or a beer or a sandwich so that we'll be open and ready to serve whoever wants to take advantage of this property. And, and that's one of the things. A lot of boaters just love to find places along the water where they can pull in the boat, enjoy a meal, have a drink or whatever, and, and just and just enjoy a day on the water. And that really, it, it'll be amazing. Well, that's, that's what we're really excited about being able to offer because, yes, boating is about being able to go into a marina, tie off, and experience something different. Uh, the challenge of getting from one place to another and the excitement of being with friends and family to enjoy that. So give, a, give me a projected date. When do you think all this is going to all come together and be done? I think that we're really on a five-year plan here. Okay. Uh, our 2019 plan is to be able to be ready to at least offer the lodging facility, maybe not so much the indoor restaurant and bar, right. uh, and tie that into the event center, which is down at the clubhouse, where we'll, we'll be able to look... Uh, people in the eye and say, we've got a great venue that looks due west across the wetlands and could be the place where you want to do your wedding, your family reunion, your child's graduation. I know whatever happens as it goes forward, it's something to definitely keep your eye on because it sounds like a lot of excitement going on here and a lot of progress will be happening over here over the next five years. So we're going to obviously stay in touch with you to see how things happen. Give us some contact information for the folks who want to get signed up now. Okay, so the website is www.erielanding.com. We're also active, of course, on Facebook. And our phone number at the resort is 419-734-2460. Well, we sure hope you're enjoying today's show. It's all about the North Coast, a great Lake Erie vacation. We're going to be right back. There's a full another half hour ahead. And if you missed any of today's show, you can always go to onacolumbus.com.